Hello and welcome. Uh, what you are seeing right now is a voxel game I've been working on for some time in C++ and Vulkan. And, uh, yeah, originally, um, well, it's, it's, I was going to say it's in a very early progress, so you might see some graphical oddities and things like that. But basically, uh, originally it was going to be just like Minecraft, uh, except now it's a little bit different. Uh, it's a floating island in the sky and uh, all the plants and animals are simulated so they die of old age, they reproduce, they pass on genes and mutate and adapt and evolve to their environment. I've got a bunch of uh, other ideas on how to make it you know unique from minecraft one of those i mean you see sometimes mods with this sort of thing but uh, i was really interested in the idea of like you know there's all these different plants there's some that are edible that you can eat there's some that are poisonous uh some that are neither nutritious or poisonous they're just there they just exist maybe some have medicinal qualities uh, but basically, every time you make a, you start a game, while the island itself, the terrain, and the rocks and stuff are procedurally generated, the plants are sort of procedurally generated as well. Like in that, it's the same plant look; it may have the same name, but maybe this time it's poisonous, whereas last time it was a very nutritious staple for you. Um, so you have to kind of relearn the plants. Um, every time you play as if it's like a new survival game you're playing every time there will also be uh, physics so some of the you might have seen a couple of floating blocks here and there that will not be the case uh, later on when I implement that so yeah right now I mean it's a giant floating island but basically I'm gonna have it where if like enough rocks kind of collect together they just float basically Here is the original that I was working on for a while. You can see it's much earlier work in progress than the other one. And everything's a little bit different. The shadows are a little bit different. This one's infinite in all directions, including vertically. So if there wasn't ice below me, I guess, I could basically just fall forever. And there'd continually be caves around me. This is when I started recoding it, first started recoding it. Um, this is like the first kind of island generation. I have it flatter on top now um, and more slanted on the bottom. You can see here what I was testing was there being lots of caves on the inside, but then they're only kind of leaking through to the top or bottom like every now and then. This is uh, when I've figured out how to calculate lighting it helped me figure out where the, the grass should be as well so yeah I tried like three different uh, ways of calculating lighting and uh, finally the last one I had all took forever to calculate they all took like like I stopped waiting after like a minute of just waiting for it to calculate and uh, this technique took about like half a second for the whole island so I was very happy about that and it looks really good it just takes a single pass just a single pass and it just does it so I'm you know I'm a genius basically uh, you can see right now too um, the voxels the texture is like it's tiled and it's this is also different from the original it's tiled and so there's less pixels per box so I actually kind of like that look um, makes the voxels look smaller even though they're not smaller but uh, I already kind of made a bunch of plants and stuff at like 16 by 16 pixels so everything else kind of has to be that resolution too you can see this is very me testing kind of putting different trees in different areas you can see sort of in the middle of the forest there is taller trees then towards the edge of the forest there's smaller and smaller trees it just kind of looks better and I just I just really like tall trees with high branches you know this 
This was the first test of the LOD system and it uses ray casting actually to figure out what chunks I should render. Um, I think I'm eventually going to go back to that, just a better way of doing it. See here I figured out how to do a cool grass shader. It moves and then shimmers too with uh, according to the movement. This is the, uh, well, first of all, I'm importing from Colada, or Colada, however you pronounce it, uh, from Blender. And then this is also a shader for character models, and you can see it has a little bit of diffused lighting, so on the bottom side, it's darker, then on the top it's lighter, depending on whichever direction I want the light to be. This is the first test of putting the leaves of the trees and the grass on an actual separate pipeline, a different shader, which is just a little bit more efficient um, for the rest of the terrain, the LOD terrain in the distance, and then the terrain that's not being animated and stuff like that. Luckily, it just so happens that the grass, the leaves, and the water are the only things that need to be animated, and they also are the only things that need to be rendered on both sides of their faces. So it just kind of works out really well that they should get their own pipeline. Here it is. Uh, this is showing off the water shader and just kind of showing how the water is going to work with the LOD system. It's uh, it's a little bit weird in the distance, though. It can look, you know looks higher up. I could maybe figure out a better way of uh, compressing the chunks with the LOD system, but. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. Obviously, the LOD is going to be farther away for like most players, so uh, it wouldn't be as noticeable. Yeah, you could see it in the distance that wall of water. And here is finally testing the ambient occlusion, which just looks absolutely amazing. It really improves the look of the leaves, especially I find. You can see, if you don't know what ambient occlusion is, it's where it's darker, closer to like corners, and it's also lighter on edges, but I'm actually only doing the darker on. And that is, uh, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot more ideas, I've got a lot more things to talk about. Uh, obviously I'm making the engine for it so if you want to hear more about like the C++ or Vulcan side of things that I'm doing um, definitely let me know in the comments I'd love to make a video like that uh, I've also got a lot more ideas about like the fantasy elements you know creatures things like that so uh, yeah if you want to keep seeing videos like this definitely like and subscribe and let me know in the comments um, thanks for watching